Hello, just gonna be a shortish one today. Oh, sorry, should have booted the game up before I um hit start stream. Oh well. Getting back into Mass Effect again. We might stream for the raid one tonight because. Back into Mass Effect, probably won't stream tonight because we're gonna go to bed somewhat early. Not early, early, but like pretty much the same time as work. Um, because tomorrow is PAX day one, and I've been going to a panel at 10 30. was working, I just didn't have it plugged in properly. I mean, my headphones plugged in properly. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an alliance? I enlisted ship? right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me, too safe. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing Realize eyes and sensitive souls. I haven't got my hat open. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I've never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Sorry, I'll have Maybe chat open in a second. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2. Now I can see you, chat. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, um. crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on Thanks, the Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. I've seen friends die before. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice... I think you're gonna fit in here Thanks, just Commander. Fine. Oh, mid. Right, right, which is where I came from. Let's go check out downstairs. Hey, wonder if I sell through the requisition officer too. Where's the requisition officer? Respect. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, 
Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my- My stuff weapon? doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it my- Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows- I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to- Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What are the different manufacturers? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But at any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most Let's basic Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh, yeah. Before I do that... The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Biotics is the Omni Tools are Combat Hard Suits, Med Combat. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. as far down as I can go. <laughs> Which makes sense the engine bay is at the bottom.
I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. That must be the exit point. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Some of those look like enterprises almost from that distance. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Is that Sith Green? Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy now. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Yeah, Seth Green, thought so. I was like, that's way too familiar with a voice to not... for me to be wrong. Outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead in That's the... That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an ex... Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <sighs> I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Big place. Uh. I was worried that would give me renegade points, but it didn't. Uh, let's see what's up here then. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place. I Chastising think. remark. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I'd I like to know do? more about the Volus? I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. 
Actually, I would like to know more about you. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrument. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. That sucks. Tell me about Volus. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus. Your ambassador is next door. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus. When I'm not being into What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests. Chastising of rebuke, Dim. The council favors you. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes, good day. Hello there, human. Sincere apology. But you I seem distressed. Your... Is there something Alarmed I... response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say... Where can I find this Asari? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. <laughs> Guess I'll help. Can I help? She channel. Roughly. The Geth are a humanoid. The Volus are a member species of the Citadel with their own embassy. The Citadel, the Council, is an. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. You humans are always so curious. Always... Uh, never... Was there something you needed, Commander? What do you know about the Spectre? The right hand of the Council, or more like the underhand inside of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organ... Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. 
Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary policing. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising with you. I get the feeling you're not too no, fond of No, I you. just don't. You humans are eager to take all the... The council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. Tell me about your investigation. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Don't believe the rumors. Come. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I could do Relax, for Relax, Private. This isn't. Right. Even... Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find sure. her? Sure. She's across the bridge. Thanks, kid. Have fun. I will. Have fun, that is. Welcome, it is good to meet you. Thank you too, mate. Welcome to the prison. Good day, Commander. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at... If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access... What's your tour. name? What My name do? is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens... It's I should be going. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to... Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Pro I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium... Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Tell me about the embassies. Each species... The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel... The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species... Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often... The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space... Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and How simple. come the Volus were the first species In the early that? years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Sele... They established many new colonies and trading outposts. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic... Why weren't they made a council? The council races have extensive responsibilities. 
They must provide personnel. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow... That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. And across this bridge? Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you might. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Norman? I'm one of the consort's accolades. Many of the people here today, it's our job to ensure that they leave. What exactly do you well, attend? each acolyte has her unique ability. As much as possible, we seek to map. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. What is the consort? Mm, what is she? It's difficult to explain. Some seek her for advice, some... Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard. Excellent. You, you should hear something in... Um, three or four months. What do you do here, Norman? I meant it's our job to ensure that they leave. What exactly? Well, my specialty is touch. I'd like to try out your Excellent. service. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you I in... I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Interesting. Yes, of course, mistress. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to just head upstairs. She'll be waiting. On a Switch just in case it gets a little bit as FW. Uh, let's see, gameplay, no audio, no gameplay, camera only. Okay. Just in case. That is close enough. 
I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize. That's not what I meant. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not... I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his I don't make any promises, but I'll see Thank what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of... If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would... Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. It wasn't an S FW, but it was definitely a little odd. Oops. Welcome. The staff in the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the in the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions. Tell me more about the Krogan. In recognition rebellion. of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a vi for a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately you successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members Why did the Council of fight so the hard? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with... Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate, and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. What were the Rachni? Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading a highly intelligent and aggressive insect race. The Rachni unleashed a war of con- the emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds... Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day.
Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidium Tourism. Behind me. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the city. You may see keepers involved. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties. Tell me about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of the... Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean... No one can say for sure. Making the Relay Monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers at peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand. I'd like to hear more about the, the business council. of the Council, which often has. The council chambers themselves are truly a magnet. Typically, only the councillors, ambassadors. What and if someone has business? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish. An Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, I'd like to know more about the. Key. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the citadel, though they are essential to. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against inter. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the citadel. But are typically found in and any particular reason there are so many the keepers, keepers do not communicate with other species it is assumed however that the tower houses the citadel's prime many of the station systems such as navigation and life support function automatically it is believed the keep the keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination that's all for now thank you for using avena have a pleasant day Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classed, but I know he's up to something. Like you humans. I think the said. council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council's assistants. Commander? I just want to ask a couple of questions.
The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready. There's no right to say that! Shepard's I... admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? I agree. Our judgment must be based on. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador. I'm glad to see you. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs> Why are the. Body suits don't carry body surveillance. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have to. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. What about we... Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with That's himself. right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help Forget us track Garrus. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain... Harkin's you... probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find out. You should out talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent... The Shadow fish. Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to... He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have about a twenty years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillion. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to Killing end. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes, but only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. You don't think much of it. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. The but guy's a scumbag. He, he was one of the first human CSEC officers. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to Harkin help. may be human, but he's also an ad. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. I want to know more about the They're spectrum. not your typical government agency. They tend... It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes... How do they decide who becomes a spectrum? You can't just apply to join. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. 
What happens when a Spectre goes wrong? It doesn't happen often. The Council... But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. What's their command structure? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers... They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along He's with just us. frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to Of cooperate. course they would. If we did everything they told us to. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Tell me more about the Shadow He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a... Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't... He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barlow. He Bond. specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial... He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over. Hey. creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying not to... unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, now, it's allowed... registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There is failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical Forcing re The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I, I could have talk. I that the stubborn jelly off... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the Evangel? Finances are only a partial limitation. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This is a most appreciated action. This one will not cause any... I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to the. I'm worried I did the wrong thing there, but oh well. I do have avoided the confrontation, so. Not entirely. Thank you. 
that's him. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have a war with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Guys, in general. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and so if you feel that way, then why spread lies? Well, she rejected me. Me, Septima Soraka, General of the Turian. Is she really worth it? There must it's be. It's not other. just any woman I want. Look, kid. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but. Don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want. I spent all my life acting like... No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired... You're a damn general. Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. So you think it's that easy? I don't think it could hurt her. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. This is no place for someone of your stature. All right. I'll go to her. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me... Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where His is name it? is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over... Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know... Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women. first Alliance military <laughs> I could have been a marine you know instead I joined the goddamn Citadel security biggest mistake of my life Harkin right I was told you could help me find some Garrus <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew I know where Garrus is but you gotta tell me something first Captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the, the captain? captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians. You said they covered all this up. How do you hear? I spent 20 years working cases here on this citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. When you got them, you're 
Might as well spread them around. Kira Pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. That it's a good story. Just tell me where Garrus was. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. How well do you know, Captain? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore men. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. Military. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? To go ask him you need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some response. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for you? You mean what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violation. Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus. Note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. What's it like working for Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus? Nope. You got off easy, if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for c second like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we sh... Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You, you need to look in a mirror. Save your sermons. This ain't... I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink a piece. He's a dick. That was him right for getting fired. <laughs> Typical corrupt cop. <laughs> Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. I think he's telling the truth, but I don't think he's right about the whys. Little markets. What's up here? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh hype, sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't Damn, see her. straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at a coos. They got a whole section about you. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet... It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander.
Because I'm only in one tower and this place is really huge. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going you to... You wouldn't uncover? be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to I'm using stories. every source I... According to your file... If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it... How do you know I'm investigating anything here on this... I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. No promises. But if I find anything related... Thank you, Commander. You won't... Welcome to... On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower. Tell me about the embassy. E the Volus were the... F the most recently added embassy belongs to your own... Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own... Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to... I suppose... Startled realization. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me. So long. Farewell. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. The consort is waiting to speak with you. That's right. What a long time ago, though. I barely remember. What drew you back to the city? Was it the consort? I don't know. It may sound strange, but I simply felt cold. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Sep. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my you honor. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not. I also have one more thing to give. I'd be honored. 
I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone... This may be who you are, but it... Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift. Thank you. No, never under -es Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never... And now I must ask you to leave. I have done... Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Hey. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Ah! Nice thought, Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange Where is she now? I put her in contact with Not Feast. anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker Feast is... betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She must she be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the sea section. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he Move leaves. out.
to me. The Asari were the first, the second, the Asari were the first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors of 50,000 years ago. Though now extinct, the Rachni once threatened every species in Citadel. The Geth are... When the Asari discovered the Citadel, they also discovered the Keepers, a docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly exists only to maintain and repair the Great Prothean Station. Early attempts to communicate with or study the Keepers were failures and it is now illegal to interfere with the Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds, even though these worlds were already inhabited, driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago. Biotics is a virtual intelligence when subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero, or ESO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. ESO is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulses. Element zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electric. Mass relays are feet.
light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Okay. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. Ah, <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. I don't want Ashley to come still, but... somewhere Jeez, I'm not even running in there, Bond. Looks like it shut down. This note.
clear. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, in the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Nice! Enemy contact!
set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are My you? name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach mature... Alone, we search the stars. Only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove... What kinds of things do you look It for? could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. I then thought I... the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of prothe... Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working on... Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new... According enemy? to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper... The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. The and Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files. The Captain's right. We need to present what about her, the Quarian. My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give a... Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes. Wait. Thank you. 
Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you speak? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. My what wife was a Marine. She was in the Tutu. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Now, are there any quests available in this game? You're pressing shift to run. It's space for some reason. <sighs> Hello. 
She means she's in the same spot. Word on the street is that I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say... Exclusive? You talk. That would be worth quite a bit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay. Embassy lands. Dude, flux. Got a bar. Maybe it's a club. It's a club. Gambling as well. Be careful. You know how sorry, I'm kinda of busy right now. So uh what can I do for you? I'm good, thanks. Alright. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. Is this a casino? We've got some quasar stations. Uh if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner. We've got some quasar stations. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Okay. It's basically a pub. You know they got pokies. Poker machine. Uh, slot machines. Nickname. Aussie nickname for slot machines. <sighs> I'm getting tired, which is good, so I probably hop off in about 20 minutes. Is that your Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime? I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And My name is Conrad, Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay hey, alive. I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Thanks. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you. Thank you. 
My goodness, your comm your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her... The tests we're conducting may lead... Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is this going is to This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage. And very... Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research If we're lucky, in? we'll actually realize usable technology from this I'll study. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell him... That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I didn't mean to get aggressive. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's check in that. <laughs> oh, we got the right setting turned on. The screens. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Norelli. That's why yes. they won't. There. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know Thank what I can. you. Please let me know what can be done. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. It's Bosco? not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs Yes, her. you told me as much. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time It's unacceptable. For her. I'll let Thank you know. You. Please let me know what can be done. Um, The Asari were the combat hard suit. All modern infantry weapons from pistols. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? It's not as simple as. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on. Mr. Bacha, your wife. What right died. does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. If the military had asked your wife to submit to test to save you. It doesn't you. matter. I just want her to let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that. Goodbye. Hey. Personally, if it was me, if my dead body could help people, uh, help people, I would go for, I'd say go for it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, where am I going next?
Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all Galactic... Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding A somewhere. fleet cannot track down. The Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way... No! It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's... Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. 
Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Okay. Sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. Systems telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. You needed Why? your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. What kind and of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have Find been out what Saren was after on Ferros and Novaria. Maybe you can figure Anything out. Anything else? Where... We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. 
Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any... Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't... But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have any to extra stop. intel you can the give The entire you. planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ru The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Not Tower? much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small un... Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority in Novaria. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Command. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? <laughs> crew, this is Commander Shepard. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species. Well said, Commander. Captain would be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. Yes, sir. Keep skipping shit by accident. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. We were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of... I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal... We'll talk another time. What can I do for you? What's your story, man? Uh, go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. I heard about that. You know, they almost It's did not the same. the same. It seems pretty much the same to so me. So your people were an infection that makes only a few in a thousand. And I suppose it's destroyed. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't Your trying to... ignorance doesn't... As for the Krogan, I gave up. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really... We're not... sure not... We're too spread out. 
None of us are interested in staying. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to... We're not settled. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. Ask the sol... All I know... It makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands... Every Krogan is infected. Every one. Why don't no. the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time to ask a Krogan? Would he rather find a cure for the gen... It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? I'm sorry, Commander. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save Yes. Her. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise. Sir, if they have fl I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed. Sir. <laughs> Can I upgrade the squad without actually being with them? You could do it in um Dragon Age. to do it.
Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with this mech. I gotta go. Commander. So this is what working with a Spectre... You think you've got a Spectre? Well, no, but I... Spectres make their own. c sec you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for Maybe. a reason. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I... But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't There's like more the way... to it. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got to... CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I, I hope you made the right choice. Well, that's sort I of why it. I teamed up with you. To... Either... And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people. I wasn't trying to. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen... I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the... I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on the vessel... I had no idea you found ship technology. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival... But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second hand. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. They're constantly being repaired. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla, grow our own food, mine, and... But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's... I want to know more about I doubt I can tell you anything you don't... All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them? Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex. How come the council? Didn't this wasn't in. true AI research. We may have been. The changes were so insignificant, so great. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. Mm. and Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherent. So. The Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, so the there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process based level. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low level functional processes. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, one day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian Overseer questions about the As you can imagine, this caused a near- What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against the- A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate- Can't all blame them for- We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organ. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the veil. Now we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being? I didn't mean to offend. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so worked up. Most Quarians tend to have pretty strong opinions about the I Geth. I want to know more about the pilgrim. When my people reach... M but no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden. We set out alone, leaving the... F this is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to uh, That protect? doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase... Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually... It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. 
Can a captain choose to? That... It's not the best way to make. I can't believe it's these. not like we all. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return, and the ritual presentation of the gift. Like what? Tell me about your. Our people. lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce. There are 17 million quarter. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil... What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, in extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave has... That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship, on matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give. So the ultimate power. In practice, the conclave and the respective council for each ship, the five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the admiralty board. These five, to do so, requires unanimous agreement among the admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, it's a safeguard that served us well. <laughs> In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I should go. See you later. I'm twisting. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? She's Shoot. the best ship in the fleet. If your balance isn't what you'd expect, it takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. <laughs> Mind if I... You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file... I'm sorry, I... Joker. I didn't you mean... even know you were... Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The ah. bones never develop properly. They're basically hollow. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever hey, I worked smile? my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hit. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the... They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this yeah, Of course system. you do. It's an extremely rare condition. No, I classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, and a hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. I have to go. All right, see ya. Oh, I have to be on that platform. <sighs> right.
Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, it's in the Exodus cluster. Thought we were in space already. A gas giant. Yep. So it's almost a star. Yay, what the fuck? Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Turns out how was throwing an asteroid at the planet. What an ass. I really should hop off. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be way too tired in the morning. Normandy, 
The Mako infantry fighting vehicle was designed for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, an M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed. Hey. Well, I just say that I'm gonna leave it there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're on YouTube, wanna check out the Twitch stream live? Link will be in the description below. Um, for obviously next stream, we'll focus on this asteroid, turning off these things are hurtling it towards the planet but yeah that's gonna be it um probably not gonna stream until maybe next probably next Tuesday maybe Monday night um because tomorrow Saturday and Sunday is PAX Australia so and I'll be going to all three days so maybe I'll stream on Sunday night because it finishes early on a Sunday because it's Sunday but we'll see. So it could be Monday, <laughs> could be Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. <gasps> Excuse me. But yeah, until next time, see you later. <laughs>